Hello there, welcome back to EU4, where I'm playing as the Netherlands. It is 1544, so that means we're 100 years into the game. I've made some small gains, I'm not going to say I made big gains, but I am playing a small nation in Europe, and due to the HRE and powerful neighbours, uh, it is a bit of a slower game compared to some of the other ones I've done. Still been interesting though, I have completed my goal of forming the Netherlands. Forming the Netherlands, which is what I wanted to do at the start of this Let's Play. So I've done that, which uh, kind of makes me happy. There's a mission done. I've got my 10 heavy ships. Let's go look at that now. So create a grand fleet. In order to be able to project power overseas, a high seas navy is a must. Warships may be expensive, but it is an investment that is well worth it if we can find new markets to dominate and peoples to conquer. So it gives me naval morale, na national sailor modifier, yearly naval tradition for 25 years. The next one is to have 75% or more trade power in the English Channel. That's probably going to be a bit of a tougher one. Uh, there's some border friction though. Across our country there is outrage that we would ally with the nation who holds provinces which are rightfully ours. France again, so I'm just going to put a positive spin on upset France. That would not be a good idea. Now I'm currently improving relations with Utrecht. I'm going to start the annexing of them. I think it's about time. Now the only other thing is I took the idea of naval ideas not too long ago. I'm kind of regretting that. I wish I went for an exploration idea. It's kind of locking me out. If I had exploration ideas, I could start, you know, exploring out the Americas. Uh, so I think that was a bit of a bad choice by me not doing that, but I didn't realise I'd be locked out so hard uh, in the HRE. So I think these things happen. Didn't mean for it to happen, but it did. Now, if maybe one day Great Britain didn't uh, protect Savoy, I probably could make something work there. Uh, but that's not going to work for me at the moment either. Now, let's have a look at my advisors so I can get anyone better. I wonder if I can get some half price advisors, maybe. I'm drawing a skill to show it's really a bit much. Oh, skill threes. I don't really want skill threes. Sixty-seven loyal uh, influence on the burgers. So I probably don't want to do much with them. But then again, five prestige. Get some more trade efficiency. That's probably a good idea. Uh, let's repeat support of the clergy. There we go. And that's all good as well. And let's get some nobility. Call a diet. There we go. Okay, that's all positive things all around. So I've maxed out relations with Britain, and they're still not really happy with me. But it's fair enough. France, very top up now. And I just did Austria. What about Denmark? Tight them. Mark relations as well. Now I can build provinces, build buildings, sorry, but I do have a mission to build a treasury. Which means I'd have at least 2,000 ducats in the bank.
uh, which is going to be well, make, making 15 ducats a month. That's pretty good. So I guess in theory it wouldn't take too long uh, to get there. First, predestination. Reformed theologians believe that only those who are predestined to be saved can be saved. But since it is impossible to know who is predestined, a notion has developed that it might be possible to discern that a person is predestined by observing their way of life. As hard work, frugality, social success and wealth are thought to be important consequences of being predestined, it seems to inspire followers of the reformed faith to strive for reaching them, as well as attracting those who already possess them, like burghers and merchants. Uh, I don't really want to lose all that diplo power for no real reason. But I'm very far ahead of time, so let's go encourage these beliefs. I get 10% production increase. Uh, that's Denmark maxed out. Okay, so the Ottomans arrival in Denmark and Austria. good options. I have to attack Savoy, it's really my only option in the whole area. Oh, I have high fervor I can spend. What can I spend it on though? I'm already... Can I do two at once? I can. Okay. Let's do that. This cannot stand. Pirates have struck some of our shipping. They tortured and then brutally murdered the male passengers. And as for the female passengers, the tales told shock all civilized men. One of the female passengers was the daughter of an important noble and he's crying out for vengeance. There are heavy implications that these pirates are under someone's protection. This is hunt them down. This is multiply power, now I'm bleeding it. There's two new heavy ships, so might as well uh, send them to Utrecht as well. Might call them up and let's just merge these guys into one big heavy ship fleet. Really got to catch Savoy out when England is otherwise occupied. Uh, even though they're in a war at the moment, it's still not enough not to get involved. Much happening at the moment. I don't really like this. I feel like I need to do something. No, lost an advisor. Election in the United Provinces. The strengthening of the status has forced Frederick I to accept the election of a new stat holder. Both the status and the Orangists have put forward a new candidate. Five three five. Whoa. Or well, six three three. I'm going to get the 633 guys, and we want to rush. We want to get um, admin tech up, just flying. So, let's go for the 633 guy. Need a new military advisor. Right, let's go for the land maintenance dude. Trying to save money. Dig it up to 2,000. We'll merge with France. Why not? I need something to get excommunicated. That's what I need. I need like Oldenburg to be kicked out. Mm. 
Mm, okay, so you trekked is at 188. How can I just top that up a tiny bit? Send a gift. 25 ducats. She could do less. Go on, have 25 ducats. Let's start the annexing, shall we? Gotta wait till October. Okay, let's annex this up. Confirm. Get okay, And uh, get a new idea. So it's almost tempted to ditch naval ideas, but I'm not getting much of a refund in doing so. I really should have done it a lot earlier. It's okay. Let's grab naval. How far? I don't really have a time in Miltech anymore, so I might grab that first. Yeah, I'll wait and get the technology, I think. Yeah. No, change culture. I don't even need to change culture, do I? Terminal vacations for Savoy. Just want to keep an eye out for when uh, they. If they do break an alliance with England. In the meantime, there's not much to do. Hungry, Lithuania, the Ottomans. None of these guys are in, a, in the HRE. We've got to get these guys all to come together. That's what I need. We all come together and make a big alliance when we actually take on the HRE. Uh, Miltech. Border friction across our country. There is outrage. It would ally with the nation who holds provinces, which are rightfully ours. This is France again. Positive spin. Let's grab Miltech 12, the Spanish Square. Spanish Square developed naturally from the park and shop formations. At its core was a traditional park square. At each of the corners, it had a group of arquebusiers. We kept the same power of the traditional park square and enhanced it with firepower of the arquebus. Okay, get to a new infantry unit. Let's take that on. Since I'm not really doing any attacking at the moment, I might just go for a bit more of a defensive minded. Tertio infantry. And I can get admin tech 12. Let's grab that. Early modern administration. In time, it became apparent that a more centralized bureaucracy with administrative bodies run by educated officials employed directly by the state was a necessity for the ambitious projects of the early modern rulers. Excuse me, a new government type and a few more states. Now, the other thing is, um, printing press is about to pop in roughly a year's time. Oh, and Zealand now is the... Uh, leading choice. I wonder if I can get it to pop in Zealand, that'd be interesting.
Hmm. I can't change government. I am United Provinces. Dutch Republic, and that is unable to be changed. But I'm kind of enjoying this uh, government type, to be honest. It seems to be working pretty well for me. I think once I get you tricked or uh, locked away, I might be able to fort in Groningen. I think that'd be a good spot, because Lindbergh covers Breda. Anything would... Would have built it in Oversticked. And that locks down the whole area, pretty much. I don't know, something to think about. The next thing is halfway done. Austria's got the Ottomans as a rival. And Bohemia. Bohemia is part of the HRE. So I don't know if that would ever help with an, a, a war against the HRE. Surely not. What would they? Just too far away for a good alliance. The other op option is Venice. Venice are getting quite strong. And Venice are already allied to France, so it makes a nice little uh, triangle there. Still got this rebel faction in Ostfriesland that you can't get rid of. It's mostly from separatism. And I guess they'll go down in time. There's not much to do at the moment. Settle America. I really wish I took that different idea. Growth of the printing industry. The ability to mass produce the written word would rev revolutionize the spread of information and in many ways the early modern society as a whole. Pioneered by Renaissance men such as Venetian printer Aldus Man Manutius, the new art helped fuel the Renaissance by making the translated classics more widely available. Later, the Reformation benefited greatly from the ability to spread critical publications and translations of the Holy Scriptures. Now that printing has matured as a technique and spread throughout Europe, Editions have grown and hundreds of thousands of copies of everything from religious and political pamphlets to instructions on how to behave or scientific treaties, treatises are circulating the continent. With print shops growing ever more commonplace, rulers have found it hard to contain the new technique as a comparatively easy means of production means censorship can be sidestepped by moving business across a border or even just changing the name on a title page. Where did it appear though? I don't think I got it. Nuremberg, really? Nuremberg? That's a shame. That's a shame. Mm, what's the next one? Global trade. If I boosted my trade power in the area, it's a possibility. So there's a relationship with Maxi Venice. I can't quite get an alliance with them. Influenza. Rumours say that sailors came back from a trip sick like hell. And the ones who didn't die on board infested the whole city with their disease. It is time to act before the whole country dies from coughing and cold sweat. This is quarantine the ports. What I do. 
Uh, yeah, I can't really get an alliance, unfortunately. If only Britain would just drop their alliance with Savoy. Bohemia isn't really looking possible either. Uh, well, I might pause it there. Not really the most exciting episode ever, but I'm just a bit hamstrung at the moment. That's about it. Almost annexed up Utrecht, so that's something at least. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your support. Hopefully, you'll bear with me through this uh, bit of a down period but once I can start exploring and colonizing I'll probably pick up again. Thanks for watching, appreciate your support and I hope to see you next time.